you know, I was realizing um, what I was going to say earlier is I don't think we ever actually had a conversation back in the 90s, ever. I don't rem- I remember. I feel like you came to my house on 15th at some point. Yeah, you say this, but I, I don't remember. I remember that. <laughs> okay. Did you know anyone else who lived in the house? Honestly, that whole time is such a blur. Yeah. Like yeah. my favorite time, but well, it's one of my favorite times in life is like our, the rave times and like the limelight bus. Like, did you go on that with, like Nigel would put those together? Yeah, well, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. probably not everyone. Limelight, yeah. you mean limelight in New York, right? Yeah. See, you know, wait, what, what university did you go? Were you in school at this time? I went to... Yeah, I was at Textile. It was okay. Textile then. Okay. All right, so I was at Drexel, and we we had these little two little raver factions, right? And it was like the guys that were always going to more New York stuff. Yeah. And then the and I was like more going. My little crew, we were more going to like Baltimore and D.C. Okay, yeah. That's where I think I kind of split off because yeah. I was best friends with Maria, okay. who you know, yeah. right? Yeah. So uh, I think she she kind of tagged along with that crew more. Yeah, yeah. Or when it kind of split off. Yeah. I did all the New York stuff, and then I got – that's where, like, my whole life started getting off track. <laughs> oh. So, <laughs> yeah, so that's why I think I look, like, so fondly back on those times. Mm-hmm. Cause that's when I was like ginger was my name and I was like creative and free and like confident. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you you always had a hat on too. Always. Always. (laughs) So I think that was sort of when I I did, I ended up switching schools. Um, God, I I know it feels weird to go way back, like losing time, you know? Well, what you mean by go, your your life went off track or on track? Off track. Off track. Yeah. yeah. Um, just with like, uh, you know, all the things like parents divorce, uh-huh. significant breakup, but okay. and then going into corporate world. Oh. So, like, after I graduated school, I worked a little bit in the psychology field. Okay. But then okay. I then I chased the money instead and like stayed in corporate for 15 years or something crazy Cor- corporate psychology no corporate like pharmaceutical oh and then that's where i started being like an event manager putting okay. together okay. all of their events mm. which was great and that's how i have come to where i am now but yeah, the the last seven it, years now has been like an unraveling of all of that and uh, getting back to who I am. Okay. Like that ginger, that person, you uh, know, back in the day. Yeah. So, so do you so do you regret chasing the chasing the money? No. I feel like I, I don't I'm I don't ever have regrets, That's you know? Because I do feel like I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing now without those experiences. And yeah. I met so many like great people along the way. So yeah. I feel like there's always value. Yeah. I guess um, it's not even regret. It's almost like, I just wish I didn't listen to other people instead of my heart, mm. which I think that's what I kind of admire about you is, and I don't know your whole story either, but you seem to, at least from the snippets that I know, mm-hmm. yeah. um, like you've followed, you've like stayed on your path and like got out of Philly. And yeah. you know, like my family's born and raised, like people don't leave. So even yeah. for me to go to California, yeah. was huge. And I did it so much later. Right. Well, I mean, all that matters is you do it, right? You know, totally. I, I mean, yeah, I guess. But you know, the interesting thing is um, technically, I didn't follow my heart when I was younger. You know, I had a big um, conflict with my... uh...